very good evening and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfatih. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today issued Royal Order Number no. Two of 2019, appointing the National Guard Commander Lieutenant General Zainal Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa to the rank of General. The promotion marks the National Guard's day and the 22nd anniversary of the National Guard. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable from the Commander of the National Guard, His Highness Lieutenant General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, marking the 22nd anniversary of the National Guard. In his cable, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty for his directives and support to the National Guard, which continued to defend the kingdom's security and stability. He wished His Majesty continued health and happiness, and to Bahrain further progress and prosperity under His Majesty. Majesty's leadership. His Majesty the King sent a reply cable hailing the pivotal role of the National Guard, which serves along with Bahrain Defense Force and the public security in defending Bahrain and protecting its landmark achievements. His Majesty expressed pride in the level and standard of the National Guard's units under the command of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed. His Royal Highness or Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received a cable from the Commander of the National Guard, His Highness Lieutenant General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, marking the 22nd anniversary of the National Guard. The Commander of the National Guard wished His Royal Highness or Prime Minister continued health and happiness and Bahrain further progress and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty the King. He expressed thanks and appreciation for His Royal Highness's continuous support, which has enabled the National Guard to reach its current level. In reply, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister sent a cable to the commander of the National Guard in which he expressed pride in the National Guard's efforts, wishing them success. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a cable from the National Guard Commander His Highness Lieutenant General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, marking the 22nd anniversary of the National Guard. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed expressed thanks and appreciation for His Royal Highness's continuous support, which has a significant effect on the development of the National Guard. He wished His Royal Highness the Crown Prince continued health and happiness, and to Bahrain further progress and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince sent a reply cable commending the pivotal role and advanced level of the National Guard, hailing the combat readiness of its affiliates. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today received the newly appointed Ambassador of the Republic of Tunisia to the Kingdom of Bahrain, Salim Ghariani, at Rafah Palace. His Royal Highness the Ambassador discussed the close ties between Bahrain and Tunisia and highlighted the importance of continuing to advance bilateral cooperation. His Royal Highness and the Ambassador reviewed recent regional and international developments. The first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, the President of the West Asian Athletics Association, President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and His Majesty the King's Representative for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President. President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on Bahrain's latest athletic achievements in Jordan's Arab Cross Country Championship. His Highness Sheikh Khalid affirmed that this achievement is the result of the support of His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, and His Highness Sheikh Nasser to sports and especially athletics, which contributed to Bahrain's high position and continuous achievements. His Highness praised the achievements of Bahrain's runners and their high performance levels which qualified them to take the first place ranks and prove their capabilities. His Highness added that athletes aim to honor Bahrain and become ambassadors of their country in the championship. His Highness praised their perseverance and achievements which is proof of their capabilities in the cross country championship and their readiness to participate in upcoming championships. He noted that this achievement will motivate the board of directors of the federation to provide more support for runners and continue the march of success in Bahrain. He also expressed pride in their achievements, which reflects the efforts of the Federation and the sports clubs to promote Bahrain. 
Peshawar Council held its weekly meeting today headed by its chairman Ali bin Saleh Hassalah in which the council approved the articles included in the supplementary report of the draft law stipulating the amendment of the number of provisions of law 37 of 2014 on regulating the process of extracting sea sand and selling it. The council rejected a draft law regulating journalism, printing and publication. On the occasion of the Kingdom of Bahrain celebration of Royal Debrail Day, the Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, visited the Debrail 650 embosser provided by the ministry, which is considered one of the latest electronic embossers. The minister was briefed on the progress of the embosser and viewed parts of its education, of its production, and affirmed that providing this advanced embosser comes within the ministry's efforts to implement the directives of his. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to develop education in all levels of education and support students with special needs. And Naimi noted that the ministry was successful in integrating visually impaired students in public schools. He also affirmed that many visually impaired students were able to complete their university education and pursue various careers. Gulf Fair, the Kingdom of Bahrain's national carrier, revealed today its plans for 2019 for its internal and external partners during its commercial conference, which came as part of its commitment to promote its role as an asset of economic growth in Bahrain. The chairman of Gulf Air's board of directors, Zayed bin Rashid Zayani, noted that Gulf Air will continue to promote its role as an asset in Bahrain and serve the international carrier's audience. He noted that the boutique business model concept was announced today which will witness a new business model. He also confirmed that the cooperation between Gulf Air, Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority and Bahrain Airport Company will allow it to optimally represent Bahrain. The conference included a number of workshops which focused on the different sections of the carrier to introduce its 2019 goals and projects. Gulf Air announced its five-year plan which started with the acquisition of five Boeing Dreamliners and an Airbus 320. The government gives considerable importance to the youth and sports sector as the government's action plan included a number of goals aimed at fulfilling youth's needs, developing their abilities and enabling them to adapt to the current changes. Under the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, the Ministry of Youth and Sports has been keen on implementing the goal of fulfilling youth's needs through field visits. The Ministry also planned a number of infrastructure projects supervised by the Ministerial Committee for Reconstruction and Infrastructure. A number of projects were completed, while others are underway in light of enhancing the sports infrastructure through constructing new sports facilities as well as renewing the approach of administrations and youth centers to become their first destination through the optimal investment in Bahraini youth to involve them in various creative fields and exhort them to reach global competition. Also, the field visits have directly contributed to setting the government's priorities regarding youth and sports projects. The ministry had identified the needs of the kingdom's youth in villages and cities to fulfill the requirements of comprehensive and model youth centers which are constructed according to advanced global standards. The ministry's plan also included the employment of sports clubs' lands for commercial investment to earn financial revenue for the clubs and contribute to the development process. The ministry's ambitious plans, earnest endeavors, and creative ideas are aimed at developing the youth and sports sector at all levels and belief of the youth's vital role in achieving sustainable development goals.
Arabian Gulf University launches its first scientific salon under the theme Digital Medicine and Future Doctors, represented in the College of Postgraduate Studies in cooperation with the university's consultancies, training and continuing education center. More on the support by Habab Ghaffar. Arabian Gulf University launches the scientific salon aiming to tackle a very important topic, digital medicine and future doctors, to bridge the gap between current education and the requirements of the global digitalization revolution and the international advanced standards. Professors and doctors from different universities gave very beneficial lectures covering digitalization in many sectors of medical practice and the latest scientific studies. We are trying nowadays to combine modern medicine with digital technology and this has a huge impact on our medical students because it will have a huge impact on our medical curriculum as well. So the way we prepare our medical students for the next era of uh, medicine is, is hugely important. The relationship between patients and doctors will be hugely affected. I'm going to be talking about the nursing profession and the Vision 2030 and the way forward how to improve the quality of care and how to integrate nursing in the team. Um, the digital medicine is uh, very important to us and it's, it's one of the goals of the 2030 vision. It's a great platform to discuss the readiness, opportunities, threats and challenges of the local universities to combine modern medicine with digital technology and prepare medical students for digital medicine and provide them with the skills and knowledge required to not just cope but lead this new era. In the middle of a digital revolution, it will affect all sectors and disciplines and industries, including the industry of health. And uh, so now we are going to discuss the degree of preparedness for this revolution. Are we really ready? What are the gaps? What are the uh, strengths? What are the opportunities? What are the threats? How can we uh, be prepared? It's digital medicine and a future doctor, so it is field of future. Today, my, my talk, I'm going to uh, focus on pharmacy field in relation to digital medicine. I'll talk about smart medication, number two, 3D uh, digital uh, sorry, drug um, printing and number three, digital medicine containers. Digital medicine is the future that will need proper awareness of all stakeholders and the formulation of a roadmap to help Bahraini doctors lead this digital revolution in the health sector. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar.